Hi, it's Adele, and in today's video, I'm going to show you my step-by-step -step process of how I make my paints, mix them, and put them in these squeeze bottles. Um, these are the ones that I did already. They're four ounce bottles, and I'm going to explain everything I've got out here so you know exactly what I'm doing. First of all, oh, here it is. I use four ounce plastic squeeze bottles and caps. And you want the squeezable kind, squeeze, okay? I've ordered several <laughs> and they have been too hard to squeeze. So I'm gonna give a link to this um, for you. And they comes in, uh, let's see, eight pack. And you want a lot of them. I have tons of them. So the first thing we do is I, oh, let me show you everything. So I've got the squeeze bottles. I've got gloss medium. I've got some water. Um, I have two, one, two, three, five of the plastic two cup uh, measuring cups. And I have this mother thing. Um, you can use this. You can also use it with this um, for, for when you have the so, the heavy bodied and I'm going to show you one of those how much paint I use but if you have these that's when I use this if you're just going to have the fluid I just use a whisk a regular kitchen whisk so I have that um, I have my palette uh, w um, just a big piece of the white palette so I can if anything falls which it will it can get on the palette and so I've lined up I've just I've gone through <laughs> my I did I know what color I'm going to try to mix because of my triangular color charts. If you already know your colors already, then great. But if you don't, trust me, trust me, trust me, take the time to do these charts because they are really fabulous. And just so you know, I created a template, easy template. It's in the resource section and all you have to do is print it out and do it, paint right on that. And I wouldn't do the, the cheapest, which I usually get for printing, the cheapest, but one grade up that's a little bit, you know, sturdier. And you can just print it out and start painting. So, oh, and I wanted to show you on these, the circle in the middle is the combination and mixture of all three of the colors that you use here. So I'm going through my color chart and deciding which batch I want to do. Um, Let's see, let's see. Oh, I think I picked, didn't I pick yellow ochre? Oh, the first one I'm gonna do, the first one is going to be that orange. I wanted to do something in this range, like here or here. So I'm gonna do that. It's that orange and cobalt blue. So I know I'm gonna have mostly that orange, a little bit of the cobalt blue and depends on how light I want it, how much white to add. So let's put this over here and I'm going to start with this and I'm going to use this. And so here's my vat orange. And what I typically do with the fluids, if you have them, is I fill it up to about one quarter, um, you know, quarter cup. So it's a kind of a good squeeze. Basically, that's kind of how you'll hear me. It's kind of like, I feel like I'm Julia Child in the kitchen. <laughs> a little bit of this, a sprinkle of that. Um, so a good squeeze of the vat orange, a tiny bit of the blue. This is kind of a chemistry experiment and it really is like cooking in the kitchen. So I'm gonna do a tiny bit of that at first and see what it does. And then, so I put the paints in first and then I'll experiment with the white. Um, so a good squeeze of the white I can always add more. So that's how I start. Then I put the paint, then I put the gloss. I'm gonna put a good amount of gloss, so a good squeeze. And this is the tricky part, very little water. I put too much water, and so I'm just gonna put a little bit of water first, tiny bit, and then I'm gonna mix it. So here we go, see? I'm just gonna mix it like this and see what I like. Do I want it lighter? I'm not sure. And just so you know, you don't have to fill up an entire thing. You can do half a bottle. Here are some of the ones I mixed. Oh, and you have to shake it up. Here's a half, here's a little bit of, of that one. Um, so you don't have to fill it all the way up. 
I love this color though. So what I'm going to do, and this is what's going to happen, trust me. You're going to like a color, and then you're going to want to start with it. Then you just pour it in here. And you can tell by when you're pouring it, the thickness of it. I would rather have it a little too thick than not thick enough. So I'm going to pour, well, I think I'll pour all of it in here. Okay, I love this color. See how little white I did? So I'm going to do that. And there you go. The other thing, and then I just put the top on. Now this is another thing I do too, is that I take the top off and just and then I, I, um, I put a little bit out on a watercolor sheet of paper, or just some paper, just to see how thick it is. That's kind of a good thick, um, thickness. And truly, you just have to experiment with this. It's not, you know, it's just, that's just how it is. You have to experiment. So when you do it, is it a little too thick? Is it a little too thin? And again, I'd rather have it a little too thick than too thin, but that's just me. So since I have some of this in here, I'm gonna do something else. Do I want, um, I'm gonna do it, let's do it a couple shades lighter. Oh, and I also wanna show you, I made a bunch of white on my own because I get big gallons or big things of the titan, uh, titanium white, heavy bodied, and then I, I did this and made smaller ones of the white. Did the same thing that you're watching me do now. So I'm gonna pour a good squeeze in there, and let's see, I used up a lot of this. Um, so you're gonna, you might wanna get an eight ounce um, one for this. Okay, let's see. And what I'm going to do is add more gloss. I'm not going to even, I might add a little bit of the, okay, I'm just going to keep the cap off of that one. Um, maybe a little bit of the water, a couple of dots, a couple of dashes, okay, a couple of sprinkles. How about that? You'll see why you want to have a lot of these um, plastic containers because you don't have to fill them up all the way. This is going to be like half full or just a little bit full, and that's okay. Now, once you've finished with a certain color, like that, I put this in water. I have a bucket here because if you let it sit out too long, it's just harder to clean. I mean, you don't have to do it. It's just I don't want to take too much time on the cleaning end, so I'm just going to do this. So there's this. Look at that. Okay, what's the next one? Uh, oh, and then this whisk, we just put in water. Wipe it off. There we go. Okay, now what's the next one that we're going to do? Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, let me wipe some of this off. Okay, so that was this one. So I already have that. And um, let's see, what is it? Okay, we did it. Oh, I know. I wanted to do the yellow ochre and black let's see let me move these away i wanted to do some of these let me show you here some of these greens i love these greens in here um and so i'm gonna do the yellow ochre and the black um yellow ochre and black and here's some white I can use this white or this white. So that's what I'm going to do. Same process. I'm just going to use another um, cup. That's why you want to have a couple of these cups. So let's do this. And you can tell by doing it how much, again, how much. I don't probably need quite as much of this. So I'm going to give a good squeeze. A tiny bit of the black. Tiny, tiny, because black goes far anyway. So I'm going to do just like two drops. Two drops. So paint, gloss water okay paint gloss water all right there we go paint gloss water oh here it is here's this the whisk oh i think i did too much water i mean you hardly need any maybe you don't need any i don't know i like a little bit to make it thinner that's a little um i'm going to a little yellow I'm going to add a lot more white. That's what I'm going to do. A lot more. Oh, did I add white? Oh, yeah, I did. You can forget. And once you get into this process, you're just going to want to um, mix, mix, mix. And you've got all this stuff out here. So why not just keep going? And then you'll end up with like 36 of these colors that are all yours. Oh, I love this. This isn't that. 
but I really love this color, so I'm keeping it. Okay, see, sometimes you can come up with surprises, but at least I know kind of where to start. So let's put this in here. See, I can see it's kind of thick. The viscosity, you can see how thick it is. And I think I mixed this just right. I didn't put too much in here. Do I want to do another one like this? Probably not. So I'm going to put this in the water and I'm going to keep going. Um, let's see. Okay, so we have this. I'm going to wipe this off. Put the top on. And you'll have to, you know, um, kind of shake them up. That's what I have to do with these. The water will come to the top, but they're totally great. I oh, love this color. Oh my goodness. I put it in the neutral section. Okay, so let's move on. Let me put this in the water. I tell you what, I will do one. Let's do one, the next one, with the heavy body. So we'll do cobalt blue. Oh no, let's see. Cobalt blue and that orange. Did we do that one already? Yeah, we did that one already. Okay, so cobalt blue. Let's see, I've made a note of where these are. Oh, yellow ochre. Okay, we did that. Hansalite and cobalt blue. Okay, so what we'll do is do the cobalt blue, and I don't have Hansalite in heavy body, so I'm just going to use the fluid, but at least you'll see. I'm finish these, finish those. Here's the white that we always use. And I always put a couple other colors like tight and buff and a couple things around. You might want to put a dot of this, a dot of that. Um, so anyway, okay, let's do this. Hansel light and cobalt blue. And I'm going to use the cobalt blue with the heavy body, just in case that's what you have. So same thing, paint, gloss, hardly any water. Okay, we've got a good squeeze in there. Let's see, probably too much. Okay, that's all right. Um, okay, gloss, oh wait, I forgot the yellow. Let's do it, oh, two, a ton of blue. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, we might have a different color. I'll put a bunch of this in there and you never know what you're gonna come up with. Oh, I'm always making mistakes. Okay, dash of water. You know what? I'm not going to even add water this time. And because it's the hard body or heavy body, I'm going to use this. So, and I put it on low here, um, and I'm just going to hold my hand. I think I need a little water. And it turned out not at all what I expected. Tiny bit of water. Um, two, okay, it's dark green. I kind of like the dark green, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do, now is when, see, I started with that, but I'm going to add a little bit of black because I love a dark black. Let's see what that does. This is we're, <laughs> a fun experiment. Okay. Let's see. Oh, see, that's great. That's a wonderful color, green. I don't ever have a color like that. So I think I'm going to use it. I use this. I could say I would use this as an um, accent color. So here we go. Just like that. So that's if you have your heavy body. Oh, that's a gorgeous green. I'm going to see what it looks like when I put it out. Hold on one second. Okay. See, color mixing is my favorite thing. <laughs> I think it's my favorite thing. So I'm going to shake it and I'm going to put it over here. And I'm going to see what that... Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, that's gorgeous. Have to see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like. Gorgeous green. Okay. So we're going to do one more. I'm going to do one more. Put that in the, in the water here. Okay, let's do one more, and then I'm sure, then you've got it. You see, you've got it. Um, all right. Let's see what else. I was going to do one more. Oh, I wanted an orange. Okay, let's put this over here and wipe this. And 
Okay. You see how easy it is? And, and once you're set up, you're just going to keep going and going and going. So I have, this one is cad red and cad yellow. Let me put this over here, this here. So this one you see is cad red and, and cad yellow medium. So I'm going to come in this category. This time I'm not going to put so much red in it. So I'm going to do kind of like a, a middle. So I'm just going to close this, but oh, please do these triangular color charts. Okay, so let's see. We have one more. Um, a little bit of the red this time, mostly yellow. So I'm going to do a bigger squeeze of the yellow. Let's say bigger squeeze of the yellow. Okay, a little bit of the red. Because the orange that I like is mostly uh, yellow. Now gloss. Good squeeze of the gloss. I'm not putting water in right yet. Um, and it doesn't seem like a lot in here, but I still like the bigger um, cup because you never know how, like when you use this thing, it goes all over the place. Plus, I'm going to put that in there. Okay. Ooh, this is a gorgeous orange. Look at that. That's a great orange. I think that's good. So I'm going to go with that. And I didn't even put water in it. So, because this is all fluid, it's got water in it anyway. So let's see last one and look how many we have okay and if you find that you have a color that you like that you use a lot like I use orange a lot I'll make a much bigger one with this so this isn't a lot so next time I know put way more way more okay I'm gonna stay and mix more orange <laughs> I hope, I hope you go and run and do a couple of color charts, have your table like this, mix and match and make tons of new colors. And then all these are yours. They, and you know, they're the color that, that you like. So, um, anyway, thanks for joining and I'll see you in the next video.